How to become a millionaire by holding Luna Classic? Well, in this video, we have done the maths. We're going to be breaking it down regarding the burns and regarding the market caps and giving you guys an honest explanation. An honest one. I'm not going to be sugarcoating it. I'm not gonna be saying you can invest $10 become a millionaire. We're going to be looking at genuinely what needs to happen in terms of market caps and burns and how and what catalyst could be coming to correctly execute that. So let's go over the steps we have now and then extrapolate that forward to see how much you might actually need to invest to realistically be able to possibly make a million dollars. But before going to start, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for the future videos. Let's jump right into it. So if we start out and do the rough math, like I said, there are two main things that we need to see one is market cap going on, and two is the burn. We know right now, the market cap of Terra Luna is around the 2.25 billion mark, and the current price is around 0.00032. For the purpose of maths, and just easy to do multiplications, we're going to call it not point. This is once again, where we get a lot crazier, and why it's so important to go with the burns, which we'll be going over later on this video, and the different catalysts because the this if we didn't burn any tokens, and we just rely on the price and market cap increasing, where we will be around the same mark cap as BNB. I mean even higher actually really around the same market cap as Tether, and will be the third or fourth biggest crypto in the whole market. Of course for this to happen, Terra Luna Classic would have to have major, major utility, the crypto market, we need to hit a market cap or global market cap of at least a 5 to even 10 trillion mark and become a globally traded currency. And Terra Luna Classic would have to have real world utility and solve real world problems and build a lot of value and have a very, very big community and lots of transaction volume on it for it to make it worth even getting to the price. And a lot of stuff we need to change. It gets even crazier when we don't take into consider the burn when we get to the market caps or the prices of 10 cents or $1. So if you invested $1,000 right now and without a burn just on price, you wouldn't need the price here 10 cent to turn that $1,000 into a million dollars. If you own once again 10 million, Terra Luna Classic to hit this basically we need to hit the same market cap as Bitcoin right now, which I don't want to crush anybody's dreams, but at the pace we're going, it's just not gonna happen. And we get even more implausible when we get to the $100. Mark, if you only own 100 a million Terrell in a classic, and we don't have a token ban, we would obviously like to move that 6.5 to 7 trillion. And so really right now, like I said, anything except I would honestly say the 100K mark is really unachievable realistically. Right, I couldn't see in terms of just market capas doing more than a 10X. And that's if we get major catalysts, major utility, and you know, a lot of hype coming into the community. So in market cap, it's not completely really achievable for these things to happen. It is possible, and this in my opinion, is a way more possible way of reaching this I'm not saying it's probable, but it's a lot more possible if, and a big if we get some token burning mechanisms implemented, and these things really stack on one another, when we then increase the market cap and decrease the circulating supply. As of course, if we 10x in market cap and get to 6.5 to 7 billion, which is still very audacious goal, but possible Terra Luna 2.0 is at this very same market cap right now. And then if we burn down to 650 billion, that would mean that we'd be 10 extra in the burn in terms of price. And another 10x in terms of market cap. Hence, you'd only need to invest $10,000 to turn that into a million. So the burn and the market cap basically turn a 10x in terms of 100x if they both happen in conjunction with one another. And then as you said, if we get down to the 65 billion mark and we reach a market cap of 65 to 70 billion dollars, which is a lot less probable, you would only need to invest $100 because the 10 would then turn into 100x, then 1000x, then the 10,000x when you can get to these crazy price targets. But once again, not particularly achievable. But you can see how the market cap of a band together can actually make bigger price targets a lot more hittable and achievable together. Now what do we need to do to hit these market caps? Of course, that's some pretty audacious goals. We've gone over some of the catalysts in the previous videos, but I think the biggest ones we need is one burns easy to access burning tools. We need to burning tokens to go on. We need burning tools and easy way to better send things to the wallet and partnerships to allow the token binds to happen. For example, Terra Luna Classic having genuine utility actually being used across the ecosystem for a medium of exchange. 
and for that to result in a ban. So some transaction fee that's going on, which then feeds back into the ecosystem. We've had a tiny bit of this going on in some of the centralized exchanges MEST has just confirmed their recovery plan, and they'll be burning, so the actual exchange for your enemy X will be sent to the burn wallet. So like I said, a gained at 98.49 support rate to burn Luna. So they will be going ahead and burning Luna, and you can see the amount burned in the transaction 58 million, 78 million, 71 million burned. And you can see the transactions links here as they are burning it and send into the burn wallet. So that's cool. And the more exchanges adopt this with the exchange fees, basically using as a loss leader, using getting people interested because they know if they trade on this exchange. Then they'll go ahead the transaction fee from the exchange will then be burnt. It gets people on the exchange, and then they use that exchanges are centralized exchange and exchanges make money. So it could be a good way for exchanges to use its loss leader to incentivize people to train their exchange and to contribute to the burn. But that's not going to get us down to these crazy low supplies that we need the even I don't even know if it will burn over 100 billion tokens, unless we have really major exchanges doing this like Binance and COO coin and all those big exchanges. But still it's a right step in the right direction. Decentralized utility and Luna slash USD repack though is really where it comes in as if we can get a Luna slash USD repay going on, which is basically what CZ was saying burn the tokens to our automatic or manual burn of the tokens by the team get that USD back up, as well as inject capital to then repack it if we can actually get a Luna so she was T repack can have a protocol change from Luna and Luna Classic and totally the Classic to actually keep that pay constant and not the exact same thing happen as we get the spiral of death and then the coin completely crashes. If we can solve that problem, and then implement a burning mechanism into Terra Luna Classic wherever you buy or sell. There's a 2.5% tax, a 1% tax, that would help so much, yes. And that will give USD real value. We know USD has been built over dApps that will give totally the classic intrinsic values. It's linked to the stable coin. And USD was really what gave Terra Luna Classic its value in the first place, as well as the dApps, the multitude of dApps being built on Terra Luna Classic. That's what will give it a huge amount of utility and real-world value. And like I said, if you implement a burning mechanism in there for the transaction. So that's where we can actually get down to those lower price targets. But obviously, that's a huge if, and what you need really is docking on the team to step in and manually do this. Final way. It would be a manual burn by the team. And we've gone over this in previous videos. You're supposed to be around a 1.4 billion Tara USD or USD burn, the terror investors demand answers now were actually like I said, a vote going on, that passed as you can see over 154 million in 153 points, 6 million voted to support it. Their proposal was burn the remaining USD and the community pool and cross-chain liquidity to incentivize USD to, and what they were trying to do was burn or many of the tokens to burn it to actually be able to slowly but surely repay dust and then the more that we can burn USD and repack it that could actually then give Terra Classic more utility and start the rejuvenation of this system. As it was, Binance said, and what CZ said was, look, the only way you're gonna do this is by doing your token burn. That's the only way this repack is going to happen. Overall, if we just rely on community bonds, that will flatline very quickly as community members only want to give so much their own money, as he obviously wanted to hold the tokens to try and get this bigger amount. If we get actual tokens being set up, and they're successful to burn, that could definitely help us more. And obviously, the more kind of a FOMO effect comes in. The more people see the burn actually working, the more people then come in and burn tokens, and it just kind of extrapolates one another, the partnerships and genuine utility can be a big one. But then the biggest one would be only if we rejuvenate the system, would only be if us got repaid to the dollar, right in the team, would have to manually come in and say that. And then if Terra Luna Classic then went on to be used to six us. And that combo happening with Luna Classic supporting that USD pegging, giving that USD peak value underlying value or support. And if that protocol was changed, and then us started to be utilized again, as it previously was for a decentralized stable coin, or an algorithmic stable coin, if that actually worked. Like I said, we've seen that failed so many times, but really, in my opinion, that's really the possibility. And then of course, there's a possibility, if we if you want to invest thousand or 100 or 10,000 dollars, of course, if you have the large amounts of capital 50, 
100 to $100,000. Of course guess, then turning that into a million is a lot more achievable. You need to see FOMO though you need to see the crypto market melt up. And a lot more interesting community interest coming to Terra Luna Classic, and for it to have that meme effect, but it's a lot more plausible. So hopefully you did enjoy today's video and found some value. Let me know your thoughts about Terra Luna's Classic. Also don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more videos like this one. We will see you in the next video.